Hey y'all, so I wanted to come at you really quick with a little haul from Hobby Lobby. So you've probably seen quite a few hauls from Hobby Lobby from me lately and that's because the clearance has been amazing and they had even more amazing clearance. I'm so excited. They had some good stuff and a couple of things I kind of wish I had gotten because I went to another place this other week that had this week that had another Hobby Lobby and I went in there and I couldn't remember if I had purchased something, a, Fabric a set of Faber-Castell pencils, and I thought I had, but I did not. And I'm like, so fingers crossed it'll be there when I go back. You never know. The first thing I got is an embossing heat tool. I have one of these, but literally since I've moved, I have no idea where it's at. The gremlins have eaten it. Whatever you want to say, I needed another one. And I used my 40% off coupon to purchase this, so super excited other than I do know that I I know I know with the certainty that I own one of these I just have no idea where it's at next I picked up some gray palette paper or palette paper artist pad they had these clearance out for a dollar so I picked up every single one they had they only had two and I'm telling you if they'd had them in the other plate in the other Hobby Lobby I went to I would have picked up some more because I really love these palette paper pads they're great I have a little plastic container that's very shallow that I just put a paper towel in and keep it wet and then I'll put the palette paper on top and it just keeps it I just created my own moist palette that way and it just it keeps the paint fresh and I can have it for days it's super super fabulous so for a dollar for two bucks I got 80 sheets basically so I was like scar <laughs> You know how you feel when you get a really good deal sometimes. That's how I felt in Hobby Lobby lately, as is evidenced by like my hauls. Cause like I think like the things I've been hauling in the last like while, like 90% of that stuff's clearance. So I picked up some Caran d'Ache Genève. I'm not sure if I said that right. I apologize if I did not. Fiber tipped pens. They're water soluble ink, and this is in the uh, student section. But I was really excited to pick this up. So, because I have never, I had not seen this in the student section before. And it was hiding out on me or something. And I was able to pick it up for like $4. And it is a 10 piece set. And I love Caran d'Ache. Even their student stuff, Caran d'Ache and Faber Castell, even their student products are amazing. I had a lot of Caran d'Ache on clearance, as you'll notice. Next, I picked up the Caran d'Ache Genève. This is their water soluble wax pastels. Picked those up for three fifty, and uh, uh, gotta open it. I was really excited to get these to try because you know how I feel about the Caran d'Ache Neo Color Two water soluble crayons, wax pastels, whatever they want to call them. So I was excited to get these and give them them a shot for 350 honestly I thought about going back and getting another like well I don't think there were any sets left after I bought this because I went back the next day because I needed something else don't judge me <laughs> don't judge me or feel free if you need to that's fine so I thought about picking this up another set of these up for like a giveaway or something just because it's so fun and I love stuff like this because it's so great to just play with and travel and it's just wonderful stuff and then I really love my Jumbo Soft Pastels. And honestly, some of this stuff I'm like, they must have cleaned out the back because I've never seen this stuff before. And I kind of regularly stock the fine art section of Hobby Lobby. And I'm like, and even the student grade stuff, I, tr I walk through it. And I'm like, I've seen some of this stuff before. So I was like, they must have cleaned out. I was like, I don't know if people were hiding stuff in the back or what, but I was like, so I got two different sets of jumbo pastels. I picked these up for $1.75. I don't know if these are light fast or not, but I thought, you know, this would be a lot of fun to just, I love to do like sidewalk chalk drawings and things like that. I absolutely love the richest, the street sticks, the big ones that are light fast. I don't know that these are, but I'm really excited to have gotten these for $1.75 a piece and play with them and even though I don't like them I was like I can donate them to like an elementary school or something like that so 
And then I picked up a big set of the Faber Castell Grip Color Markers. It's ergonomic. It says it is long-lasting marker, can be rehydrated if the caps are left off. It's non-toxic. It's washable, so it's you can you can play with water basically with it, so it's water soluble. And I picked it up for two dollars and fifty cents, and it's a twenty-piece set. So I thought you know it would be fun, and if even if I didn't like it, I am not out of ton of money. And then this, this is the first thing I saw. And I kind of wanted to jump and scream in there, but I thought, I contained myself. I know you're proud. You should be. And that is, I have been looking at purchasing this off of, like, Jerry's and Blick, I feel like, for no joke years. <laughs> I have been wanting to try the Karen Dosh gouache. You know how much I love gouache. I am a huge fan, and I've been wanting to try Karen Dosh's gouache for a while. This is their, I think this is their Karen Dosh, their Genève. I think the gouache that I've seen on Blick and Jerry's, this, I'm pretty sure this is it. So I picked this up for $40, or for $40, for 10 bucks, and I got 13 different gouache, including a big old white one, and I have seen this set, and it is like, I think, a $40 set online, and so I'm really excited that I was able to pick this up for $10, and it's metal, it's one of those lovely 10s, I am so, so excited, and I'm really excited it's in cake format, and like, I think I can get these out, hold on, yeah, I can't, so they're full pants, my only thing is, as I sort of wish they would sell re refills for this, and I think you just have to buy the set for Karen Dosh's gouache, which, if this is student grade, I mean, that explains why, but I did get two empty pans, but I don't know that they sell these empty pans online anywhere. If they do, and you know, let me know in the comment section below where you can purchase it from, but I'm really excited to have this because I love my watercolor palettes that I've created and pieces I bought for that, so it's kind of awesome to be able to do that with gouache as well because I really love the opacity, the opaque, I keep I keep wanting to say opacity, uh, the o, the opacity of like gouache. I was like, sometimes I just want something that's, that's opaque. Not always, but sometimes. And I was like, I love a good gouache. Like Holbein and probably Ingram are the gouache I've tried so far. So I'm really excited to get to try this. Even though this is the Genève and this is like a school grade, but my understanding is this stuff is supposed to be top-notch excellent. So really, really, really looking forward to it. So I'm going to read you the back of this because I'm nerdy and I'm really excited. And yes, I'm not happy about this. So it says, these are gouache cakes with a velvety texture and high pigment concentration. 13 luminous and dense colors specially designed for teaching art, learning to mix colors, and painting pictures. I'm very excited. So, like I said, this was the only set they had there at my Hobby Lobby. Ten bucks! I was going to take it. I was so excited. So, I would say, you know, if you get the opportunity, always check the clearance section because you never know what amazing finds you you can get. And that doesn't mean just Hobby Lobby. I'm talking about all of the, like, arts and or craft stores. Like, so excited. So, Goodness gracious, this is going to be like the shortest haul I've done in a while. So that is all for this haul. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, leave them down below. I do like to respond. And if you want to see reviews on any of this stuff, or if you have any other suggestions of products you think I'd like to try and things like that, again, let me know. And if not, I hope you have a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.